morning. My name is Mike Janicki. I'm the Director of Guidance and Admissions here at South Shore Vocational Technical High School. And we'd like to welcome you to Open House 2015. Thanks for joining us. I'd like to introduce you to our superintendent, Tom Hickey. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. I'm happy that uh, we have, we're going to have such a great turnout today for our open house. We have 14 vocational programs that serve students from eight area communities. And the open house is our signature recruiting event. It's an opportunity for our current students, some alumni, and our faculty to show prospective students and their families what we're all about. We are going to get kids ready for whatever comes next in their lives and we're going to get them ready with a solid technical foundation. We're going to teach them the very important employability and professional skills. And we're also going to give them, very early on in their high school experience, a sense of what it means to plan for the future. We want our students in grades 9 and 10 to be thinking about what's coming next. And by doing so with, with our very close relationships with area employers, our graduates will come out with a diploma and a trade certificate and more options than students from other traditional high schools. So today I hope that you'll see many students interested in the middle school seeing all that we have to offer. It'll be an exciting day. Well, we're here with some of our members of our uh, advisory council and local employers. Um, tell us uh, your relationship with Precision Machine Technology and South Shore Vocational Technical High School. Sure. Uh, I'm Peter Belazos from Bend and Gear and Machine. And we've been on the advisory board for maybe 10 years now. And what we do is attend the meetings that they have twice yearly, hear the status of what happens here at, at the school, and then we retire to the machine shop. And the advisory group discusses uh, the curriculum, the needs, the what's happening in industry. And we hear what's happening with the students, and we combine our thoughts and, and, and make uh, changes. and, and, and we advise on what can be purchased. So you're really working with the teachers to make sure that they have the latest in um, what potential employers are looking for, that the students are fully prepared and trained for what's next. Absolutely. There's no way that, that the teacher can know everything that's happening in industry, nor can we, but we have a better handle on what we see on the outside and the changes that are happening. Great. Thank you. Um, tell us a little about where uh, you guys have come from and, and how a technical program such as PMT has prepared you and, and what you're doing now. Well actually I graduated last year from South Shore Boat Tech and I was already working at Bending Gear and Machine before I graduated. I started there on a co-op program. Um, I've been on the advisory council since my junior year and been to every meeting since then and just continue to come back and try to support the school and the shop and help out any way I still can. And what kind of things are you guys working on now? Uh, right now we're uh, just working on some production uh, parts and whatnot, but yeah, nothing too important, but uh, you know, just getting the work done. Yeah. All right. Welcome to our academic uh, room here at Open House. All of our academic departments have a full complement of college prep and honors level courses. Uh, we're excited about the accomplishments of our students. Um, we participate in the MCAS test, and our students are fully prepared upon taking that test. Um, every classroom is equipped with a smart board. Uh, we have Chromebooks and laptops available for all of our students in, in just about every one of our classrooms. Um, and we're excited about the technology available to our students. One thing that we always stress, math. And math is important in every one of our programs whether you're milling uh, parts for machines or figuring out pitch of a roof, math is gonna be critically important. In our English department, uh, our students are working on communication skills. All students are working on resumes and business proposals um, as part of the English curriculum built into the program curriculum. Again, they're fully prepared for what's next and um, in a full complement of college and career readiness programs. I'm here with Vinnie Barber, one of our uh, electronics teachers. 
Uh, also, electronics is part of our engineering academy program where students participate in electronics, drafting, and precision machine technology and combine the skills of all three shops into engineering project, projects. Uh, Vinny, tell us a little bit about uh, what electronic students do and the purpose and point of uh, engineering program. Okay, so uh, uh, electronics is a field that's uh, used everywhere from, you know, it's astronomy to zoology, so it's used all over the place. When you come through this school, you can either take a path that will prepare you for um, jo a job right after school, becoming an electronics technician, or you can be prepared to go on to college ready, uh, becoming an uh, electrical engineer. Uh, so what you are doing in this uh, classroom is you're learning how to understand the basics of electronics, and then we move on to more detailed projects. So if you look over here, uh, we have uh, robots that they build up in the ninth grade. They're line-following robots. As part of the engineering academy, they'll go through and they'll learn how to design, draw, mill this equipment out in uh, precision machine technology, and then come back, uh, finish all the electronics, we have real competitions with the students. So they learn the total engineering design process. Thank you. And I'm here with Matt, also one of our graduates. Uh, Matt, you're at Wentworth? Yeah. Okay, excellent. And uh, how did South Shore prepare you and, and get you ready for what you're doing now? Uh, well, most of the stuff I'm doing now is actually stuff that I was taught freshman year. Really? So, so you're, you're learning in college stuff that you're, you've learned as a freshman here? Yeah, pretty much. Awesome. They're doing color coding, series circuits, all stuff I learned halfway through freshman year. So okay. it's pretty easy. What are you majoring in now? Uh, electronic engineering technology. And what are, you look to, what are you looking to do after Wentworth? Uh, I'm probably going to go into the field. I'm not sure doing exactly what yet, right. but I'm going to be sticking with it. And I, I understand you're also working, you have a, a, a lab assistant, or you're, you were yeah. recently employed by Wentworth? Yeah, I work in the lab, uh, distributing the parts that people will need for what they're planning on doing that day, putting the kits together, making sure everyone has what they need. Right, right. It's kind of Excellent. like you're saying, when he was at the school, uh, he had to perform a role which is called the senior tech, where the upperclassmen support the underclassmen, and that's kind of similar to what you do, right? Exactly. Yeah. One of the pieces of equipment that we're proud of is our 3D printer. Uh, students design and program printer to design and build a number of parts for different program for different projects. This is the uh, base plate for the blimp right there. It's a uh, like the prototype of it, and it's just we. Uh, so what pieces will go and get attached? Well, you can attach the motors to the spots right here. The motors will go right here. And then the other single motor will go right here, and then the holes are for to attach the uh, clips to it, so they'll stay on. And then. So the, and the drafting of this happened in. Yep, we, this was made in drafting, and then we got the file, and then on the 3D printer we printed it from there. I'm here with Mark Lenahan, our assistant athletic director. And uh, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the uh, sports and athletic programs that we offer? Sure, we have a wide range of athletic offerings here. In the fall, we have football, we have a freshman team in varsity, we offer boys and girls cross country, boys and girls soccer, uh, golf team, and we have fall cheerleading as well. In the winter, we have boys and girls basketball, we have ice hockey, and we have wrestling. And then in the spring, we have baseball and softball, um, boys lacrosse, possibly girls lacrosse coming in, and something that I'm missing. And softball, I think I said yeah, softball. softball. There you go. But so, uh, some, uh, some accomplishments we've had. Uh, I understand lacrosse and uh, cross country have done pretty well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, lacrosse team won the state vocational title two years ago, and they were in the state um, vocational tournament again last year. The cross country team uh, finished second in the state vocational race this year. And our basketball team, the boys, are the two-time defending Mayflower League champions. <laughs>
Graphic Communications is one of our more popular programs. The students here in graphics have printed all of our open house materials, um, everything that gets sent home, uh, posters, calendars, they, business cards. They work with local communities, um, theater groups to provide uh, programs. Um, obviously we're seeing here that they're printing our t-shirts for students. Again, these are all skills that our students have fully ready to go upon graduation, even before that employers are looking for. Upon entering, freshmen participate in our exploratory program where they'll see nine of our different shops. Uh, they'll rotate through and spend a week in each of them. And what are some of the things that they do here in graphics? In graphics, our exploratory students will um, go through the Adobe products. We focus on Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator um, for the first three days of the five-day cycle. Um, the remaining two days, we try and get the students to start to think independently. Um, graphics seems like a shop that you would produce two-dimensional work in and we get the students thinking you can actually create three-dimensional work. So we take paper and we make it a three-dimensional form. So this gets the students thinking a little out of the box than the standard. Um, you print something on a sheet of paper. So from there, the students would um, go out into shop and whatever we created in the software programs, they would produce it out in the shop with Mr. Mariano. How do you incorporate uh, post-secondary plan skills, are you able to, in that one week time, are you able to get students to start thinking about what's next after high school? Well, we hope to. We go over, if you were in this shop, what are the types of things you would do after. Right. Um, some of our students do go into an art school or even just a two or four year um, uh, undeclared. Mm -hmm. um, we go over the potential job pathways in here um, and we show them salary guides to give them an idea of if you were to graduate and look for a job in industry where you would be if you were to go to a two-year and, and graduate where you would be or if you would go to a four-year and graduate what opportunities you would have then. We're here with Emily Flynn, one of our seniors. Uh, Emily, you're in automotive, I could, yes, right? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, but you're also one of our student leaders around the building. Tell us uh, about some of the activities and organizations that students can be, be involved in. Well, we have our student council program. We have our math team. We have drama club. We have our Skills USA program, which is um, vocational-wise. You can go and compete or you can go for leadership things. And we have a couple other programs that um, I'm not personally involved with, so I don't know too much about. Awesome. What are some of the things that uh, I see a lot of posters here? What, do, what does student council? Uh, what, are, what are some of the projects that student council does? Well, we do the food drive every year, and we give it to the Rockland Food Pantry. We do the Toys for Tots right around the holidays. We have a Spirit Week before Thanksgiving break when we do um, our pep rally. Mm -hmm. We had our haunted hallway. It was the first one this year. I heard about that. That was pretty successful. Yes, it was. It was. All the little kids looked adorable. <laughs> right. And then we bring in programs like the Yellow Dress um, to educate kids about just problems that are around in our society. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a senior, you're looking to, uh, you're graduating from automotive. Yes, I am. And what's, the, uh, what's your plan for next year? Um, I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to go off to college and then become a teacher. Awesome. Great. Thank you very much. We're here. Excuse me. We're here in Collision Repair Technology. Uh, let's see if we can find Mr. D'Andrea. Tell, uh, tell us what some of our students here are able to work on. Okay. This is um, one of our new machines we just purchased. Um, it's a pro spot welder. It's a resistant spot welder. All the new vehicles today are put together with these welders. So if you want to just look over here, this is what it looks like. It bonds the panels together, and this is a brand new panel on a car that had no panel there. It was all rotted off. So that's one of the things we do in here. Uh, we also mix our own paints. We have the full PPG line, water base, and urethane. And uh, we do motorcycle parts, race cars. Uh, we do frame pulling. We have a Carolina laser measuring system that we had just purchased. So let me ask you, uh, upon graduation, students are able to go right, 
right to work right and, to work. and uh, in a professional experience, professional setting, and they have all the same skills that uh, employers are looking for. They have a, apprenticeship skills to get into, into the trade. And um, from there, they work on, on honing all the skills that we showed them here. Do you work on things such as uh, business proposals and business communication skills as well? Yes, we do. And throughout the school, we do that. And the other thing is that we have kids that are out on co-op. We have senior kids now that are working in shops. So it's a great way for the kids to get out into the industry prior to get graduating school. And also, they get ASC certifications in here as well. Do you have students working? I see a lot of cars. Do you have students working on boats at all? Uh, we do boats, small boats, of course, because we don't have the room for a big boat. We do trailers. We do pretty much anything. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gene Hickey. I'm the machine shop teacher here at South Shore Votech. And what I'm trying to help get the message across is that all of the machines that we have running are all programmed and set up by the students as they're running the jobs in the shop. So on CNC computing, what the students need to know is enough about conventional machining so that they understand the cutting tools and the cutting pressures that are necessary to shape and cut metals. Once they have that understanding, then they can take and write a program that will control the devices that are connected to the controller of the computer numerical control to do the actual machining process. So right here we have an example of uh, a cribbage board that the boys have been mach machining. And that cribbage board, if we looked at a finished piece here, they took and programmed the end of it so they machined the top, the lengths on it, the chamfer that goes all the way around, each of the whole locations that are in there, and then some text to help identify it and customize the board. So inside of the machining cube, all of these operations that the machine is running are as a result of the programming that the students have done and again the, the understanding of what the cutting tools are supposed to do so that it's operating with the correct, with acceptable machining speeds and feeds for efficient operation. So the students that learn these kinds of skills have a limitless, absolutely limitless opportunity in industry. We keep trying to emphasize that anything that is a manufactured item, anything from aerospace to medical technology to consumer uh, cell phones and everything else that gets handled goes through the hands of the machinist, either in directly manufacturing the products like what we're doing here or in making the tools and fixturing that will set up some type of assembly or manufacture of a mass-produced part. So we're here in one of my favorite shops, Culinary. Love this stuff. Uh, chef, tell us, uh, tell us what do students do uh, on a daily basis here? On a daily basis, we learn about cooking. We learn about the love of cooking. We learn about service with a smile out in our restaurant. Um, we definitely learn all the aspects of cooking and just uh, enjoying what we do. Uh, business practices, uh, it's, a, it's a fully operational restaurant, so students are part of that, that process as well? Absolutely. Um, they also learn business management in our related program, um, and they learn everything about in the dining room and, and that sort of thing. The upperclassmen are also allowed to uh, do a lot of the paperwork to learn management, uh, making prep lists, helping out with the menu, so pretty much all aspects. And then typically what do you see students do upon graduation? Where do they, uh, where do they head off to? A lot of the kids will go to one of the culinary schools and we're lucky enough to have articulation agreements with a lot of the culinary schools, the CIA, Newberry, um, and other ones where they get either money off uh, towards scholarships or if because they have Surf Safe here in OSHA, uh, which are, are given to them, they get to learn that and earn those certificates, um, then they get money off that way. And a lot of kids go into the business. We help them get jobs. We have a lot of the um, employers, the surrounding employers come through and actually give us information um, for our kids. Uh, we also have the career fair every year and um, they bring in, they set up stands there and just help our kids. And you said that, that articulation program, that's an arrangement with area colleges yeah. where the students are learning 
what they would learn on campus, they're already accomplishing here. Yes, a lot of the same exact things in high school, they're learning here in order to bring that to the college. So with something like ServeSafe, which is a certification program, it's the exact same national test that they're given here at a high school level, believe it or not, and they can actually take that, bring that with them, and they don't have to take that same exact course in, in the uh, college. Great, thank you, Chef. You're very welcome. I'm going to go get something Maybe to eat. eat something, yeah. <laughs>with Michaela, one of our seniors in Allied Health. Uh, tell us a little bit about Skills USA. Skills USA is the Olympics of vocational schools. So what we do in Skills USA is we study for a long time and then we compete in our trade. So when we're there, I'm in Allied Health, so there's nursing assistant, basic life care, and medical math. So you pick which one you want to do and you compete against a thousand of other kids. And if you win this competition, you end up going to nationals. So what nationals is, is a competition in Kentucky that you would compete against all different people from all different states. And if you win that, you can earn scholarships and different things. And it just looks like a great thing to have on your resume. And as, as I understand it, we've had some national finalists mm -hmm. come from, from South Shore here. James Aguilar, um, Shannon Arlen, and there's other people too, but those are the recent grads. And as a senior, tell us, uh, what are you looking at doing next year? Oh, I'm going to nursing school next year, four-year college. I applied to Simmons College, Quinnipiac, Salve, Regina, and University of Rhode Island. Have you heard back from anybody yet? Um, I heard it's back. It's so early. I did apply to one college in Virginia in August. I did hear back, and I got into their nursing program. But it's not where I want to go, but I've already applied early action, so I'm willing. I'm going to hear back probably in a week or so. Awesome. Awesome. You'll do us proud. Welcome to CIT, that is Computer Information Technology. I am Chris, I'm a junior in this shop, and I will give you a tour of the shop and what it's all about. Uh, over here, this is the junior and senior side, and this is where the juniors and seniors sit. Uh, as you can see, we have seniors work both on servers, and juniors do networking, as well as both uh, grades will do uh, security, as well as um, service calls for the whole school, and so if it's there's a problem with a computer in the school, then we just have to go and solve that and fix it up. So it's really fun to do that. That's my personal favorite thing to do. Uh, we have some desktops over there, which you can see, and the sophomores get to use those, and they learn about the hardware and parts of a computer. Uh, and that is awesome, and I like doing that a lot myself. Uh, if you follow me over here, and Catherine is currently showing a demonstration on the, the smart board over there, which is showing off uh, App Inventor, as well as we also show off other programming, such as Java, Visual Basic, Batch, as well as we also go on online websites, which help teach these uh, programs. Uh, this is to get people interested in programming if they like it, uh, to get their feet wet and get them excited for programming. If we come over here, I can show you more. We have the parts of the computer laid out right here, in case anyone's interested. Uh, all this stuff works in a computer. Some of the stuff is mandatory, some of the stuff is just extra, and it is a very nice setup that we have, in case you are interested. Over here, we can show off the curriculum of the shop. So, freshman year, you get to learn computer literacy. This will get you interested in the shop, as well as teach you why you're learning what you're learning. Sophomore year, you can learn Windows 7, except this is going to be changed to Windows 10 in the upcoming years. 
you also will learn the hardware as we showed the desktops earlier. Junior year, we are doing Network Fundamentals. That, that is that book right there. And that book is to teach you how computers talk to one another. We have a video running currently right now which shows what IT is all about. If you follow me over here, you can see that we have a tour going on, but behind that tour, there is a computer in a fish tank that's filled with vegetable oil, and that computer actually works. And ne right next to that fish tank computer, you can see another computer opened up. That's what it looks like inside that uh, fish tank computer. It's, the vegetable oil, oil is non-conductive. That's how the computer will work. And if you look over there, we have a mini server as well as other toy groups. This field is constantly growing, and people are very interested in the field. Uh, some people get out of the shop and choose what they want to do and work out of the field right away. Some people go to colleges, some go to tech schools, and it is a great field to get into, and it's constantly growing. I'm here with Bob Burke, one of our carpentry instructors. Um, Bob, tell us a little bit about uh, programs where students go out in the community. I understand you guys built the uh, Situate Boathouse and yeah. the, uh, the Hanover Bandstand now. That's right, yeah, the Situate Maritime Center. Um, students did that a few years back. We've built addition to the um, Norwell Council on Aging. Uh, we've done an outbuilding for the Hanover uh, Norwell Council on Aging and some local residents, we've done some projects as well. And currently, uh, Mr. Mariani is the students out at Hanover Town Hall, they're building a new bandstand out there for the town. So we like to do a collaborative with the sending towns, mm -hmm. uh, some out outdoor projects for the students to work on. And that's the upperclassmen, the... the uh, and this is a full hands-on, the students are doing the construction, they're, they're knee-deep in it. Absolutely, they're, they're reading the prints, they're, they're cutting the components, and they're building the buildings, yep. Where, upon graduation um, and working with seniors, where do you see, where do you see students head off to after, after they graduate? Uh, we've, I've had students come back and tell us that they've gone to Mass Maritime, um, Wentworth Institute. Uh, we just had a student in today, graduated four years ago, and he's a, he's a real estate agent. And he's talked about the connection with the carpentry program and how he understands buildings and setbacks and things like that. So you, you, you never know. So we have students going to college, career, whatever they're ready, to, they're ready to go. Yep, work ready and college ready. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you. So that's a little bit of our. Uh, we saw some of our 14 different shops. Uh, hopefully, you'll get a chance to stop by and see uh, see the shops that interest you most of all. Uh, we thank you for your time here, and we do want to stress one of the things that we really do focus on before even the first day of school, um, beginning with the freshman year, before the first day of school, we really want to focus on what's next. Um, you know, whatever your plans may be after high school, whether you're looking at going to college, uh, right to the workforce, military, whatever the case may be, we want to make sure that you are fully prepared, uh, that you're college and career ready. Our students are working on career plans, our students are building resumes, our students are building hands-on, work-ready skills um, that equate to college-level coursework. Um, so we're really happy that you were able to join us today. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give the school a call. We'll be more than happy to schedule an interview. Uh, we'll be more than happy to sit and, and give your own tour, your own personalized tour around the building and focus on shops that you might be interested in. So thank you very much, and we hope you enjoyed the time here. Bye-bye. stands behind America's veterans to make their transition back home easier with free services and help getting the benefits they've earned. Help us fulfill the promise to our men and women who served. Go to DAV.org to learn more.